Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you one of the feature of the native slicer which you can use as a relative slicer. Now what do I mean by this? For example, I've added this slicer here and I have three different options here. The first option here is for me to choose whether I want the last six days, six months, six weeks or if I want next six days, six months, six weeks. And the next option here is this, which basically will give you options to select this day, this week, this month, this year, etc. Let's go through this one by one and see what are the different options that are available here. If I want to, let us say, I want last seven days, I can simply type in seven here and select last seven days. And this will show me last seven days of data. Likewise, I have last seven weeks that I can display here. I have last seven weeks calendar weeks. When I select weeks here, you notice that this is basically from 7 1 2025 till 8 18 2025, which is today's date. It goes back seven weeks from today's date. But if you want calendar weeks, then you can select weeks calendar here, which will basically select your calendar weeks. If I give you an example here, if I select months and if I enter three here, you will notice that I'm going back 30 days from today's date, which is 5 19, 19th of May until 18th of August. But when I select calendar months here, I'm going back exactly three months from 1st of May until 31st of July. And that is what is being reflected here as well. Likewise, you can, you have years, you have years calendar as well. And the next option here is the next, wherein you can go forward. If you have data in your data set with future dates, you can select that. For example, you can select next three days and see the next three days of data if you have data in your data set. And likewise, I have this here. If you want to select this day, you can also default this. For example, you can select this day and save this report. And whenever you open this report, it is going to open today's date. Likewise, you have week. This will basically show you this week's data, which is from 17th of August until 23rd of August. And likewise, I have month as well. It's displaying 1st of August until 31st of August. Likewise, I have year as well. So this is basically the functionality of the relative slicer. Now I'm going to show you how to add this slicer. Let's go to the Builder Visual tab and click on the native slicer. And when you do this, I'm going to go to the calendar table and bring in the date here. Now, whenever we add the date into our slicer, we always display the hierarchical data here so that you get to choose your year, quarter, month, day, etc. Now, one thing that you have to do here to use the relative date slicer is you need to right click on the date and select date so you that no hierarchy is being displayed here. You have your actual dates that are being displayed. Then head to the format tab under slicer settings. There are various options here that you can choose from. Here, I'm going to choose relative date. And when you choose relative date, that's when you will be able to see all of this data. Let me increase the font size here so that you can see this better. And now I have these three options that are available. And the moment I select this, it will it will also display the dates that I am selecting in my data set. So this is how you can use the native slicer to filter relative date in your data set. If you were already aware of this feature in Power BI, let me know in the comment section. But if you did not know about this, then congratulations, you learned something new today. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.